Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video tutorial, we're going to be using GD, uh, which is an, uh, an image library um, based in PHP, and we're going to be um, watermarking uh, a specific image. We're going to be loading in a watermark, which we are going to use to place on an image. We're going to then load in, on, on, in an image a slightly bigger sort of photo based image and then we're going to be watermarking it in the bottom right hand corner so you've probably seen watermarking before um, on various different websites if you were to upload an image it may watermark it um, if you haven't seen watermarking then I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the effect that we want to achieve by the end of this tutorial and then um, and then we're going to look at well, we're going to look at each individual file. Then we're going to look at it as a whole. So let's first of all look at the watermark that I'm going to be using. It's a file in this folder called logo.php. So I'm working with files all in the same folder, and the logo is just here. Okay, so it's just a standard logo, um, and it's uh, of type PNG. Now the um, image I'm going to be watermarking this logo onto is phone.jpg so let's take a look at that you can see it's just literally an image of a phone um, what we want to achieve is we want to watermark the the image into this bottom right hand corner just here and we're going to have a, a position of 10 from here uh, 10 pixels from here and 10 pixels from here and we're going to we're going to set the uh, transparency of this of this watermark to 20%. So we've got a value ranging from 1 to 100, obviously a percentage. We're going to go for 20%. So let's have a look at the index file, which is calling this file called generate.php here. Um, and it looks something like source equals phone.jpg. In fact, I'll run it in generate.php, uh, but we can also run it from um, the index.php file because we've created an image with this URL in. So let's click on here. Now the images, both the images that I just showed you have now been combined to create this image and you can see that we've got the logo that I showed you um, a moment ago watermarked onto here. We've got a distance of 10 pixels here and 10 pixels here and it has a transparency of 20%. So um, we've also got this inside our index.php file um, it just shows exactly the same thing, um, but it shows it as an HTML image, so we can sort of copy it, paste it, do what we want with it. So the generate.php file generates the image, while index.php displays it as an HTML element. It displays it as an image. Okay, so now that we've seen the example and what we can do with this, let's have a look at um, starting to write this code. Okay, so at the moment we don't have any code. I've cleared this. Let me just go to the browser and refresh so we uh, sort of start with a clean slate with this. And we're going to be working on this generate.php file. Uh, and we're gradually going to be, well, we're not going to be preview or anything, but I'm going to explain very carefully each function that I'm using um, and the arguments that it takes and why we're doing it. And we're going to be doing this in a way that we must supply with an image otherwise we don't combine our watermark and our image itself. Now the first thing we need to do which is really really important is to change the type of our, our page. So what we need to do is we need to change the um, the uh, type of data that our page is displaying basically and we do this using the header um, function in PHP. Now what we do is we just simply in here type content type and then just a colon now if you're used to dealing with file types you know that a jpeg is image forward slash jpeg so by calling this function here and, and supplying it with this header data what we've done is we've changed the generate.php file to an image remember before when we looked at generate.php on its own it was just an image file itself when we previewed it from index.php um, we created it as an HTML element. So we'll be doing that later on once we've uh, sort of achieved the desired effect that we need. Okay, so the next thing to do is take in a parameter. We want to take in some information from the user. And this is in get format. So what we want to do is we want to first of all 
check if a get variable has been submitted and this is going to be equal to source if it has been submitted all of our code is going to go in here because we need to supply a source being our the picture of the phone that I showed earlier um, that's the source so I'm just going to put this into a new variable to make everything uh, a lot simpler later on we don't want to having to be having to keep referencing this now we can just reference source itself so let's just echo that out to make sure that everything works and to make sure you guys understand why I'm doing it so let's refresh the page okay so I'm gonna now say source equals phone dot jpeg I'm gonna press enter and nope nothing happening okay sorry yeah because I've changed the um, header content type um, uh, we're looking at an image so I, I've just commented that out so we can preview this as, as plain text so you can see that now we're taking in this parameter here this can also be you know like dot dot dash you can do whatever you want you with it it's just going to be the location that our original JPEG file is at so let's uh, un echo that and uncomment that okay so the next thing we need to do is load our watermark into the program so we can use it a bit later and we also need to get the height and width values of our watermark and the reason for this is we need it later in the image copy merge function what the image copy merge function is going to do is it's going to merge our watermark into our actual main image the one that we're specifying in source but before we position it correctly we need to work out how large it is before we um, put it in um, with the correct values and make sure it looks okay so the first thing we're going to do is create a um, variable called watermark now we're going to use a function called image create from PNG so let's just create that function so we've got image create from PNG and all we need to do inside of here is specify the um, file that we are um, importing if you like or creating from our PNG image and this is the watermark file so I've got this as logo.png because it displays the PHP Academy logo 